Well, she's got a heart that is quite amazing and um, incredibly rational about everything. And uh, it reminded me so much of my grandmother. Um, I never set out to play my grandmother, but as we filmed, um, my grandmother certainly visited me uh, uh, several times in memory, maybe even spiritually, uh, because she, she dealt with her life in much the same way that Agatha did. She listens, she takes in what your suggestions are, and in some cases she considers it and says, yes, let's do that. And then when she's very clear about that not working for her, she's very clear that we're not going to do it that way. And that makes for a very happy set, I think. You don't feel like you're not being listened to, but you also uh, don't feel that um, uh, there's no authority. Rooney is, is, she's luminescent. She's an angel. You know, she, I, I, I would watch her and, and think, how did she, how does she contain like that? She, she found the center of a woman who has been horribly abused and is left with a pregnancy she didn't want. She does not want to be married and she sticks to her guns, and there is great serenity in her that I think is so beautiful in this film. The way Sarah shot it, it was many, 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 many takes because the camera was on each person, and there were nine of us, so nine times, however many takes and however many angles, um, that's a lot of takes. And I think everyone was so prepared and so on it and so excited about it that you didn't want to let down anybody. So when it, if you'd already done your turn and then you knew you weren't going to be on camera again for the rest until we finished this scene, it, you wanted, you still wanted to give the same performance. And that's extraordinary. That barn was extraordinary. I have it on my phone. I have photos I'd, every day I'd take a picture, of, especially if, it, if the lighting was, had changed a little bit because of the cracks, the lighting would come through the cracks of the, the boards and it was, uh, um, it was a work of art. Total work of art, as were all the other little, you know, locations or little sets of the inside of our houses and so on. Um, but it, you really, you were in a hayloft. There, you didn't have to imagine a hayloft. She found the authentic design of the dress, and uh, there let's say for Hollywood standards, it was a little uh, daunting to have to put that thing on every day because <laughs> it's not very flattering. Um, but that's the point. They do not want to flatter themselves. That would be vanity. And uh, you got used to it. It was, it was very lived in by the time we wrapped the movie. And uh, I appreciated all that she, she gave me more information uh, all the time about being Mennonite uh, because she had grown up around them and she was acutely aware of them and um, she gave me things to read. Uh, I thought she did a brilliant job, uh, especially for finding, since the palette has to, had to be pretty plain except for the little girls who were allowed to, in a sense, adorn themselves with color. Um, I thought she did a brilliant job of defining all of these um, different families and how we expressed ourselves. I think it gives it an otherworldliness that helps set the tone um, just as much as language or, or the costumes. Um, 
because you it it's almost as if it it seems almost like someone's imagination in its uh, sort of fadedness. Um, it also added to, for my money, it added to, this is something that did happen in the past, but not that long ago, which is shocking when you have the truck playing, you know, uh, the monkey's daydream believer. It's, um, you realize, oh my gosh, this is the, mo there's a modern world out there these, that these women don't live in. to sit in a huge audience and hear their reactions. It teaches you um, about your emotions. You know, that's, that's kind of what, that's why we all got together before COVID, <laughs> sat in a dark room and watched movies. We were, a, we were a community. We were enjoying a story together. Uh, that's why you do theater. Tell a story and everyone's enjoying it in certain ways. If it's supposed to be funny, we're laughing. If it's supposed to break your heart, we're crying. Um, it's part of being human. There are never enough roles for women. There are never enough roles for old women. And uh, it's rare that you have uh, a female director. It's uh, rare that uh, Women wrote it, and it got produced in the glorious grandeur, the level that this movie was done. And to go to work every day and have that kind of communal exchange with almost all females was, it was extraordinary. <laughs>